All right, back on the F-150. I went and got a load of plywood the other day. It looks good. Um, I'm trying to figure out the right color of speedometer gears to put in this rig. Uh, there's been a lot of changes done over the years. There was a four-speed uh, uh, overdrive in this truck, new. Then they had an FMX transmission in it, and now I've put an NP435 new process in it. So I need to find out the gear colors, and also... I have to reset the odometer or the speedometer needle. It looks like someone may have taken it off and readjusted it. So I'm going to have to pull the dash apart and do that. And then I'm going to use my uh, bore scope to go in inside the uh, transmission tail shaft area and see what color the drive gear is. And I have two driven gears. I have a tan and a yellow. But I may not be able to use those. It'll all be based on the drive gear in the transmission the tire size and I can't find it here but these are right there 205 75 15 tires uh, 205 235 sorry 235 75 15 tires that's the tire size so I'm gonna have so I know the tire size and once I find out the, the, the amount of teeth on the drive gear using the borescope based on the color of the drive gear, Ford drive gear, then I can match up a driven gear color. And I also know the transmission, the rear end, the rear end is a uh, ratio is a 2.75. That's the one that came in this truck with the overdrive transmission. And then I, again, like I said, I'll have to reset this to zero. I'm going to do this first because you have to start somewhere first. Uh, and this is obviously off. All right, so I'll get back to you on it. Okay, I checked the transmission drive gear. It's an orange one, and I'll put a picture in. And I actually didn't have to use the camera. I was able to shine a light in and just take a picture of it. I've taken the, the drive gear off. It's a yellow one. They just slide over the end, and uh, I don't even, there's a little clip that just slips in and you need a little screwdriver just to pop that clip off. I did video taking it apart, but the camera didn't video it. So the yellow one, it's a T18, 18T, so 18 tooth. So I have a tan, well I called it brown earlier, but it's actually tan color. Tan one and a yellow one, so an 18 and a 19 tooth. Um, so anyway, I'll be putting this back together. So it just slides over like that. You know, with one hand, of course. Get that on there. It has to align with the square of the odometer cable, and the little clip goes back on right there. So I'll get that done and put her back together. Okay, all back together. That's a 10 millimeter because this transmission is out of an 80s, early 80s model truck, Ford truck. And now it's time to take the dash out because I want to reset this odometer or speedometer needle. So we've got a few screws, one there, one there, one over here, and another one over there. And I put one in down there because this was loose and there was no really, there's no hole to, I don't know, it was just a, a fit that held it in place or what, I don't know. But there, it was uh, loose so I just tightened it up with that. And to get these off, Fortunately for me, someone already stripped this, so that pops right off. Otherwise, you'd have to go up under the dash. The follower's doing this. I can try to do it. I, I haven't done it to this truck, so um, you go up underneath the dash. If you can find a spot to put your arm that's close to that switch and get way up in there, and it's right on the top, and you'll feel a little button, and I can feel it there. So you can reach it, but it's a bit of a stretch. And you can uh, pull that, you push that button down. I can't do it with one hand because I have to hold it and hold the camera and everything. So you push, there's a button down and you'll feel it right on the top of the switch. Push the button in and pull that shaft out. But for this one, I've already, oh, sorry. Uh, someone already stripped it out. So it's loose on there because they just have little grips. But I'll, I'll epoxy that back on at some point when I'm done doing the dash work. Why, why make my work even harder than I have to? So I'll set that aside and don't lose it. 
these little things there's a little tab right if you can see it or not there's a little tab in here that you can uh, push down on and it'll pop that out and again I'm not gonna I don't know if you can see it or not I don't even know if you can see that tab, but I'm going to try pulling my head off before. There, I'll show you. I'm the, I'll sacrifice this one. Yeah, so you have to pull forward. So there's a slot there. Yeah, I actually can see now what's going on. So there's a little slot, a little metal clip on the back of that, and it just grips, oh, like a caulking gun, cheap caulking gun. It just grips onto the shaft. So if you had a screwdriver, you could pry that forward in this through this little slot, and you could pop that knob off. So that's how you get that knob off. I just yanked it off. Probably not the best thing to do, but I did have it off before. And it all it does is just a friction on the shaft, so it's not hurting anything. But yeah, if, you want, if you're having trouble with it and you don't want to hurt anything, just pry that back. All right, I'll get back to you when I get this, uh, this dash cover off. And we'll have to get this odometer out. All right, in, uh, I got the dash cover off, the, the face plate. The light bulb out of the way. I just set it aside for now because I didn't want to do the stereo, take the stereo out. And I was going to take the dash right out, but I don't think I have to. Um, there's these little clips that hold the front piece on, and all I'm trying to do is pull this off and readjust it to zero. So I think I only have to take that cover off, and I'll clean it up too because it's pretty dirty. All right, be back to you. Just a little note. Uh, this is the bulb for the... Uh, washer and wiper area it just clips into this slot here so you just got to pinch these two tabs and it pops out and that's all it's there and then I have the radio I'm just gonna leave the radio in because it's there I'm not taking this out anyway I'm only gonna focus on the odometer so now that I have that that wire unhooked I can flip this out of the way and then and get back to work okay I just took one of the little clips out to hold that front uh, clear plastic on they're just a little metal clip, something similar you'd see in a for doing uh, folders and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just a little metal clip. I used, I'll set it aside, and this is what I used to a uh, non-marring uh, clip remover. Should clean it up a little. But uh, anyway, so there's a few of them on here. I'm just going to pull them out, and I get back to you. When you're taking these out with this little uh, with this tool, it works well if you just kind of Oh, back up if you rock them side to side like here like that way um, it seems to, to pop them out quite easily I'll see if I can do one for you I get one that might be easy to get at uh, that one's in a all right one over here might be easier to work on let's see if I can do this this has never this hasn't been off see look they just wiggle out so grab them because they'll fall on the floor on you so that's that that's how you get those tabs out these little metal tabs <clears throat> Okay, I've got the all I believe all the tabs out. Now I'll just grab that and pop it off. See, very simple. I'm gonna clean that and treat it with some Rain-X. I've got some Rain-X for plastic, so I'll clean that up nicely before I put it back on. Set the side. Don't lose it, don't lose the clips. Now, this is what I wanted to try is to pull this needle off. See how it's hanging way down there? And see if I can pull that needle off without damaging it. I don't know if I can. I think th these needles are replaceable. So there it pops off. So what holds that on? I can't really see it. Uh, there. So that's just a focus. Looks like it just a friction fit. So in theory, I should be able to reset that focus. I should be able to set that at zero, so let's see what happens. I got working around the steering wheel here, so if I'm flopping you around a bit, I'm sorry about that. And I can't see because I don't have any light on it. And I get the camera in my face. <laughs> All right, let's just see if I can get this to settle back down. All right, so there's, make sure that the, uh, the odometer doesn't have any weight on it. Let's just push it back on right there. Oh. There's no pin on these. Like, used to be pins on these old cars. 
and I'm missing that all together. I'm gonna have to get a light on that. All right, right back. Okay, well that took a little fiddling and some light on it so I could actually see. So now I've got it lined up with the zero and I'm gonna push it on and uh, see if I can leave this light here. All right, I'll just set it up there. So I should be able to just push this right on. We'll see if it stays there. Oh, no, it dropped off. So move it back. I don't know if these are on a spline. Very fiddly for me because I can't really see what I'm doing in here. All right, put that on there. All right, I probably had you way off camera. All right. Kind of bouncing it a bit to make sure it, it's almost like <laughs> there's a pin in it, but <sighs> okay, drop that needle. All right, I thought I had it, apparently, I didn't. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. It took me a couple of tries fiddling with it to get it right or very close to right. It's not a hundred percent, but I'm gonna call it. There's like a pin in the back. I've never had one of these, the back of these off before, but there seems to be a pin inside and, and who, the previous owners, whoever changed the, changed this at one time, must have taken it off, turned it and put it back on and missed that pin, trying to get their adjustments right when they changed the automatic transmission. That's just my guess, I, I really don't know. I can't imagine anybody taking that apart for any other reason than trying to readjust the speed because you've changed something. But anyway, that's it right there now. So I'll get that uh, lens cleaned up and put back on. Uh, I'll calculate the, uh, the uh, gears I need. Well, first I'll take it for a test drive, and then if it's not right still, I, I use a GPS uh, odometer uh, while I'm traveling just to check my speed against what it's showing. But I know I have an orange uh, drive gear. I know the size of the tires, and I know this is set at zero again. So now it's to determine the driven gear, which is the little, the smaller gear on the speedometer cable. All right, uh, I'm sure I'll get it. All right, I've got my Rain-X uh, glass cleaner. This works for the plastic and the glass. So I'm just gonna spray it, uh, spray it on and I'll let, on this side and I'll let it soak a tiny bit and I'll just show you what I'm gonna use. And you're familiar with these Rain-X products. I have the uh, pl uh, plastic water repel, so I'll put some of that on just to protect it some when you're cleaning and stuff so you don't add any more scratches. And it clears the plastic. It makes it look a lot clearer. So I'll get that done, and I'll get back to you. Okay, I don't think there's a lot of hope for this old lens, but I'm going to reuse it. It needs to be really polished up nice. I don't know if I could sand it with some 1,000 and work my way up to 3,000. Probably work. Um, Probably just as quick to replace it. Uh, if you do want the part number for these, I think you can focus in on it. It is, I don't know if we can focus in or not on that part number. There it is. D3TF10. Focus. Not focusing. I'm going to get it behind something maybe. Anyway, you probably caught the part number there for a second. It had it really clear for a second. There, oh, there it goes. Yeah, so there it is again. That's the part number for these if you're looking for a lens. So while I'm in here, I take this little uh, one inch chip brush and I was just cleaning the dirt dust off these little bezel areas. These little ledges. Be careful of the needles. I just whacked one there. Needles are quite fragile. So I just clean it up and clean the dust off. And go up on top. Just a quick light going over. You're in there, you may as well do it. Or for me anyway, you can do what you want with yours. But for me, I wanted to get this cleaned up a bit. Oh, sorry. And that's it, I'll put the cover back on. All right, since I was in here, I took the opportunity to pull the light switch shaft out. And I'll use it as a pointer right on the top. I don't, I don't know if I can get in there and show you or not. There's a little, yeah, there's the little button. So you have to push that down, and they're a bit finicky because they what they do is they lock onto this back piece, and you kind of have to rotate it a tiny bit. I don't know if you have to, but I had to. You may it may just pop right out for you, but I kind of rotated enough it slipped past that uh, pointy part, that sharp end, and that groove. So there's the button right, 
right here that you would have to push. So when you're reaching up underneath, you have to push down that little so that button. You won't see it from the bottom, but you'll be able to feel it. It's got a spring on it, so it's spring loaded. I'll show you. So it pushes, pushes down, and then it allows this to pop out. Uh, your your headlights will be on, so you might want to undo your battery. What I did, I just pushed it back in with this side, just shoved it back in, um, into the into the hole, just to turn the headlights off. But if you're going to have it like a long time, you could just unplug your battery. So that's all it is. And then when you go to put it back in, it just shoves back in like so. So that's it. That's how you get those off. Uh, I don't think you can do it <laughs> with one hand. I'll see. I doubt it. It's it's a bit of a struggle to do with one hand, so I'm not. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So it's wasting everybody's time watching. But that's it. Push that button in right there. Pull this out. Uh, I don't know if I can get it. If I had a tripod set up, I could. No. All right. That's what you do if you've never done it before. That's the procedure for getting the uh, headlight knob off, and then this. Like I said before, the knob grips on there, but someone had already stripped, didn't strip it, but set, definitely broke the seal on it. All right, so that's what you do, shove them back on, and when the, when the dash is all back on. There, the lens is back in. Remember, it's concaved, so it goes inward. There's, a, there's a indexing slots, one there, and there's an indexing pin down there. Oh, where'd it go? Anyway, no, it just rests on it. Sorry, it's not in. But there's a slot up there, and it's concaved inward. So you, uh, it has to go. It can only go one way in order to get. Oh yeah, there's indexing pins on each side. So you're pretty safe there. Just a little tip: when you're pushing these push pins in, they take a bit of a pressure to get them back in. You might want to just like this, just get it in place and hold the plastic piece in back and push with your thumb, or hold it somehow because you, you don't want to break. This is all plastic in back of there, plastic housing. You don't want to snap the tabs off. So again, make sure you brace the uh, brace the plastic really well. And that's not an issue if you have the dash out because you can just hold it and put your thumb or your hand on the back side. Just a little tip so you don't break your dash. Okay, that's the dash back together. And uh, if you're like me and you want to do this a couple times over, forget about you forget about the little tab that's right here. There's a tab that goes. And I should have I should have taken a video of it, but there's a tab that goes right in here on this hook to this black plastic piece. So you got to kind of flip it up over and get it behind this. And like I said, if you're like me and you want to do it twice, forget about that. Uh, if you want to do it once, remember to flip that over. Um, be careful around the uh, the screw holes. That this is very old plastic and. Don't crank on them too hard because you'll poke the you'll poke the uh, screws right up through. There's one on this side that got poked up through over the years, and it, what it does it breaks the back of the thing, of the of the plastic away. So that's it. Uh, now it'll be te road testing to see how we did on it. Okay, had her for a test run. She's saw uh, Pretty much bang on. It's out maybe a kilometer per hour. Uh, it's hard to tell because the GPS jumps around like two to three kilometers per hour. But uh, I'm going to be good with that. So it's going to be the orange gear, yellow gear, and fix the uh, speedometer needle. That's her.